Hello and welcome back to Mike's Basement. Today we're in a brand new game, at least for me, Explain 11. So let me shortly explain why I am in X Explain 11 instead of being in my very favorite game. I mean, <clears throat> besides Star Citizen, of course, uh, my very favorite uh, piloting game, which is obviously Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. The reason is that I feel after playing a little bit with Microsoft Flight Sim and trying to do VATSIM flights and stuff like that, I honestly feel that while Microsoft Flight Sim in overall is a nice simulator, and by far it has so much eye candy that you can almost cry over it. I mean, it is so beautiful. The content of it and the planes that they put in it, well, they are very, very bare bone, especially if you want to fly uh airliners like this so that's why i tried the zebo mod in uh in explain 11 you can get that for free obviously you cannot get explain 11 for free but but you can get the zebo mod tried it out a little bit and agreed with myself that i wanted to go for the a321 by tolis their mod so uh, that's what we're in right now so without further ado let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do we're going to take a flight from copenhagen Kastrup Airport to Berlin and uh, unfortunately whenever I go to a screencast on OBS the the frame rates drop like insanely so I'm not sure what the heck is going on there but that is really what happens maybe I should want to look it up but but I don't know what's going on so instead we're going to uh, go for an all-in um, system here we are flying today with pilot to ATC, so let's start by setting up the frequency for the ATIS. Uh, so let me get that up and going. Connect. We are connected. Let's import the flight plan. That's the one. And here I have to remember to set the speeds and all that. So let's get the uh, the AV tab open here and then go to charts and go some directories back, output, FMS, and then it's the ADDB, this one. Let's see. Our flight level today is going to be... Reach us here, I think. Reach us here. Let me just uh, get to uh, the page where we can see the. Top of climb marker. 330. So our flight level is 330. I'm going to put that in. And let's go back to the first. Let me see what our ground speed here is going to be. Uh, <laughs> doesn't want to tell me. Oh, that's because probably it's in the climb phase. Let's see. Top of climb. 443, I think it must be. true airspeed and ground speed it does set plan ground speed here i don't know if we have an average on the front page can't remember no we have average wind average tuc no no as far as i can see no average ground speed but i think the cruising altitude uh, sorry the cruising speed is something like uh Yeah, that was too far. Climb. Oh, that's an extra climb we have. Where is our top of descent?
Where did that go? Let's see. Perhaps an eggmate? No. Um, I think we can read it out here. So, let's see. Four four three, flight level three thirty. So uh, let's put that in four four three, four four three, and flight level three thirty. Now there are some planned destinations and ETAs and descent rates and all that that I'm not honestly not going to fill with, but uh, that is what we have today. The flight. We have some takeoff data. I haven't put that in because the uh, th th this is a plan from um, professional flight planner PFPX, and they haven't um, upgraded uh, the Topcat calculation module for uh, the uh, the recent one. Uh, but we can use the Tolis as a calculator as well. But let's uh, start out by setting up some stuff. Let me just show you. I've put in some keyboard shortcuts here. Uh, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to use a pilot to ADC and we're going to use, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, packs. Passenger and crew experience. We're going to go from EDB. Numbers, okay. It was 33,000. Flight time was, let's just say, about an hour or something like that. Just to give us a little bit of headroom. I think it said, here it says uh, 32 minutes, but I'm not sure I really trust that. So let's <laughs> say an hour. And let's say we have a lot of passengers, let's say uh, 50 minutes until takeoff, just to give us all. And I think we, we did all three. Let's get it back again, AV tab. I'm pretty sure we did all of the 220 passengers, yes. So, uh, yeah, 220. Next. And uh, let's uh, allow our passengers to get on board. So you should hear the passengers uh, fumbling around and talking and all that in just 3, 2, 1. they just materialize out of thin air and then you can hear them very impressive all right so let's see we are in uh, this um, flight management computer thingy here i have uh, done some initial stuff i've aligned the irs i got it on ground power so we're going to go through a little acronym that's called diffs rip data init a flight plan secondary flight plan radio navigation in it be performance. Let's get that going. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Let's go to in it. I already done some stuff here. I loaded in the uh, the uh, the X plan. I can show you that. Go in here and then we load this one. Then we get all of this nice stuff in here. And we're going to check what is our secondary. Alternate, that's EDDC, so let's uh, put that in, EDDC, alternate, let's align the RS. there we go, now we have navigation, let's go into wind and get some wind requests, and return, let's see if we can put in some extra stuff, next phase, descent wind, I think we have a wind chart somewhere here, at least we should have. Yeah, here. See, descent. Let's just put in some stuff. I'm not sure what this actually means, but I'm going to go for this one. So we are having, let's say, 290 dash 026 dash 310. Let's put that in here. At least that's this how I think we're going to put it in. I'm not sure. 293. 019. 250. And uh, let's put in... Uh, let's just 
skip one and say no let's put it in because we have it uh two seven eight zero zero eight one ninety and uh let's see uh one four three zero zero eight one twenty up oh, one twenty and let me just uh, see yeah, i'm still recording i noticed that when i i have set my recording button to the um the dash so when i jotted all of this in i suddenly had a problem so i've set it to shift dash instead that that helps and the final one 120 012 06 all right and uh that should be it that is all for indie day so let's go to flight plan and before we continue with the flight plan we are going to set our radio for um the uh the atis so we can hear the atis so we're going to go into airports ekch enter recorded ATIS let's go for one two two eight five so I think it's like like this put it in one two two eight five I'm ready with my where's my pencil there it is so I can try to uh jot down the most important stuff let's hear cast up information tango 1120 Zulu winds are light and variable. Visibility unrestricted. Skies clear. Temperature 9, dew point zero. Current QNH is 1017. Arriving and departing runway 04 right, 04 left. Castrup information tango, 1120 Zulu winds are light and variable. Visibility unrestricted. Okay. Skies clear. So I got what I came for. So um, let's see what the plan says according to our let's see AV tab. Let's see what it says in respect to where we're going to take up what the, what the plan says. Uh, let's go back to the little short route we have somewhere. So it says twelve, and there are some discrepancy between this and i don't really understand why there is that but we're maybe it's sort of a way that it calculates I don't, i'm not sure i know that both simbrief and um pfpx does it something that i have to look into but uh, we're not going to take off from 12 usually let me just get a uh, overview of the airport uh let's see airport uh airport so usually the right runway is for takeoff and the left runway is for arrival what the departure and arrival so we are going to go for or oh, for left that's what i'm assuming but uh let's put it in oh for left and we're going to uh, have to get our plan out so we're going to go for the Baylor 5B, that is then going to be the Baylor 1E. No transition, but it's going to be Baylox. But so I'm going to write that down. We're going to go to Echo, Delta, Delta, Bravo. We are taking the oh, Bale, Baylor 5B with the Baylux transition then departure or then transition then I expect then as filed I expect 4000 feet but but that's what we're going to uh, ask about when we get there and a couple of minutes or so I'm not going to put that in yet I'm going to request my um, I'm going to request my um oh 
Oh, that's because I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Let's go in airports and EKCH and uh, delivery 119.90. Put that in. 119.9. All right. Let's get going. Good afternoon, Castro Delivery, Scandinavia and 771, request IFR clearance. 771, this is Castro Clearance Delivery on 119 or Decimal 9 or please repeat your request. I'm pretty sure I'm 119 Decimal 9. Oh yeah, uh, it's, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, now I know what it, I'm supposed to say. Good afternoon, Castrop Delivery, Scandinavia 771, ready to copy IFI clearance. Scandinavian 771, we don't have a flight plan on file for you. <laughs> That's because I haven't filed it yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's see, validate, file. <laughs> We are off to a good start, as you can hear. It says we're unable, unable to... Alright, I have to check that plan, because it says it's unable to... Uh, let's see, airport charts here this one let's see uh, no top of descent there top of climb he wanted top of descent but let's see top of climb 443 is okay. Ground speed. So. Well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go for that. Let's try it again. See if we can get a clearance. Covering in delivery, Scandinavian 771, ready to copy IFR clearance. 771 is clear to Echo Delta Delta Bravo. Fly the SIME 1E departure with the SIMEG transition, then is filed. Expect departure runway 04 left. Uh -huh. Climb to 4000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 124 decimal 9 or 7. Squawk 4261. Zero for left. Wasn't that what she said? Zero for left. 4000, that was good enough. Two minutes after departure. Departure on 124. One, two, four, decimal nine seven. If I remember correctly. And the squawk was four two four two six one. Four two six one. Alright, let's put that in before I copy it. Clear. Race. So Zero for left. And it want me to go to the Simic. Simic 1E. One echo via the Let's 
Simi, one echo, departure with the Simic transition, then it's file. I'm pretty sure that was what she said. Alright, let's copy it back. And yeah, I have a little bit of uh, radio chatter in the background, as you can hear. Please stop. Alright. 771 is clear to Echo Delta Delta Bravo. Fly the CMA 1 Echo departure with the simic transition, then as filed. Climb to 4000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 124.97, squawk 4261, Scandinavian 771. Scandinavian 771, read back correct. QNH is 1017, contact ground on 121.62 when ready for pushback. Enjoy your afternoon. That's a little problem here. They just talk on top of me because they would actually wait for me to confirm this before they begin to talk. I'm just going to talk over them because I don't want to wait for it. Ground on 121.7, Scandinavian 771. Good evening. Scandinavian 771 ground frequency is 121.62. Oh, what did I say? Frequency is 121.7, Scandinavian 771. Alright, so uh, zero for left, simi one e I'm not sure I understand that transition, at least not according to my plan, but uh, that's what we get, <laughs> so that's what we're going to follow. So that was uh, flight plan. I'm not going to bother with the arrival and all that yet because, I mean, that can change as well. Radio navigation, that is all auto. Let's go to secondary flight plan. It's going to copy it. Yeah. Let's say uh, performance then. And that's the real stuff here. So let's go into TOLIS. And uh, go to loading performance. We're going to uh, put all the passengers we have, remove the cargo. Let's see what our fuel was. Uh, AV tab, toggle tablet. And 220 passengers. And there might be some zero fuel stuff here. Let's see. Uh, zero fuel weight is 69.780. And here it says 67. That's between that, so that's completely okay. Let's go to the uh, fuel page. Should be down here somewhere. Yeah, let's see. Um, 5,300. So I'm just going to go with five, oh, 5,400 just to be sure. Oh, let's just go with 5,300. Quick refuel. There we go. And uh, we are relatively light, I think, so we're going to go for one. Flight plane active. Use Togo Trust. No. Thrust, not trust. <laughs> so we're going to go for flaps one. Also, be sure that the aisle is clear and sit down so that way other passengers can get by you. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, and our flex temp down there is 42. Now in Topcat you can get... No, there. 
I'm not going to bother with that, so we're going to go for... One for seven. One for seven. And one fifty. So, uh... We won, we rotate, we fifth. Going to set that for... Go for, uh, two. Zero. Zoom out a little bit. Let's set speed to, uh, one... F no, I'm just going to let it be managed. Let's let it be managed. And we're going to set this for 4,000 feet. There we go. All right, let's see. And that was basically it. So, uh... Did we go for init B? No, I don't think we did. No. Let's get that Tolis thing up again. Let's see. Uh, zero fuel weight. That is 69.7. So let's just say 698. 69.8. And let's say... Uh, sorry, I forgot. 69.8 dash... 28.6 there we go block fuel is 5.3 5.3 that's all of it perfect so let's go into it data we don't need that in it a we have done all of that flight plan we have that secondary flight plan we have that copy it uh Fuel predictions, well, that's not the performance. No, radar navigation, sorry. <laughs> uh, we have all of that. Init B, we have just done that. And then performance, we have done that. Let's see, phase, climb. We could put this all in. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, because I don't know which airport I'm going to land at. But I will set my little uh, not charge airport search eddb oh no sorry like that i will set this for the schonenfeld uh atis on the uh co-pilot seat so let's do that what was it it was uh one two three seven eighty. Two three. Oh, sorry, too far. Seven eighty. There we go. Shift over to the co-pilots uh, pilot seat, and we're just waiting for the passengers now. And I have my son coming home in a little bit, so uh, if you suddenly hear me rush out and turn off the <laughs> uh, the microphone, that's the reason why. All right, let's see uh, how far. Let me just ask our lovely flight crew how much time we have left. So let's see uh, boarding status. Yeah, how much longer do we have on our boarding process? Twelve minutes. We are still boarding. Let us know if you need anything. All right, let's go to uh, ground then. One to one decimal seven, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, EKCH. Ground. One to one decimal seven, seven two, but yeah. Um, yeah. So now we're on ground. Now we are just waiting for our passengers to get seated. Let's see if there's anything else we need to do. Let's get the APU online so we can...
get some air in here. Let's check the temperature for once. Let me see. Uh, Pressure, cabin pressure. Well, not really relevant here. Let's see. Condition. 34 degrees. <laughs> That's pretty hot. I'm not sure how exactly it gets to be so hot in here. But uh, let's get the APU online and give these people some... I wonder if low pressure air can help on that. Put in some high pressure as well. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Let's check what it is. That is, if whether it's uh, low pressure or high pressure. Turn off high pressure. It's low pressure. Yeah. Let's no, it's high pressure. Try to turn on low pressure. Maybe it's a combination of both. I don't care. Let's just keep both of them turned on so we can get the temperature down. Down, down, down. Alright, so now we're just waiting for... Um, Anything else that we can do? Oh yeah, there is. Uh, go up here. Up. I'm going to wait with seat belts. We don't really need that right now. Let's turn it. Even though it's not as hot outside as you could... You can imagine. Alright, so uh, I think I'm going to skip this part and then you can join me when we're ready to fly. Alright, it says now that there are two minutes left, so, um, well, let's hope that's accurate. Let's go through the uh, all of it once again. Oh, I forgot to set, let's set this right now. Let's go to a co pilot seat and look down. Because you can do that, that's pretty cool. So clear. And our squawk was 4261. 4261. Let's leave it at standby for now until we begin to taxi. I think there's any more else that we need to do right now. Check the panels once again. This is set. Turn on the APU now. Yeah. We are ready to go when you are. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 771 with service to Berlin. Our flight time will be roughly one hour. Please note the cabin door is now closed. We ask that you make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your larger devices are now shut down and stowed. If you have not already, please fasten your seatbelt and verify it is low and tight across your lap. Your tray tables and seatbacks must be in the full upright and locked position for departure. Cabin crew, prepare doors for departure, cross check, verify straps, and stand by for all calls. Alright, so I have aligned my. Uh, this is a B 
beta version of uh, PAX where we have a hotkey for the seatbelt sign. And I have also a sign. Let me just show you. I think it's three. Yeah. Notice this little button down here, seatbelt sign. When I press a button on my joystick, it will shift both of them because they haven't uh, told us or whatever it is, hadn't added it so that we can use um, this anymore uh, right now. So, uh, I mean, it doesn't register when I press the, the when I shift a little seatbelt sign, but it does now. Now she should say that we have uh, seatbelts on. And all of that should be in auto and... Well, we seem to be good to go. So let's do that. Let's call ground and ask for... Coming in ground, Scandinavian 771, ready for pushback and engine start. Scandinavian 771, pushback and engine start approved. Pushback and engine start approved. Scandinavian 771, thank you. All right, let's go for a uh, bit of pushback. Right, so please, please play on Going to go for a north position, which is what we usually do. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. All right, so let's see if there's any lights we need to switch on right now, other than what we have. We can turn on nav wings. We don't need strobes on auto. We don't need runway or anything like that right now. But we do need to go for. Oops. If you bleed, let's turn off external power. Let's go into Tolis and remove all of this stuff. And let's call the pushback car. Perfect. <clears throat> so let's uh, check the uh, the uh, while we're waiting. Let's just check quickly our uh, no, that was the right one. Let's get the taxi charts, taxi routings. If I'm not mistaken, we are on apron in. So, and we're going to go for a four right. So I would expect something like a Quebec, Delta, Charlie, then Bravo, all the way down to Bravo 1, holding point Bravo 1. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Uh, which we are not, but I will do that right now. <laughs> Um, so let's, uh, let's remove, uh, where is it? Sam. There it is. And let's remove that. Sounded like the door closed automatically. Yeah, it did. It is closed. All right. In a little while, he's going to ask us to release the parking brake, and then we can start engines. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. There you go. So Starting pushback. You may start your engines at your discretion. We can do all of this right now. So we're going to uh, no arm this. That flaps for one, and we're going to move this to ignition. We're going to pull up uh, didn't change but going to go for engine page take that move it over here and we're going to start engine one engine two sorry front of the aircraft for a safety demonstration 
Oh. When the seatbelt light is on, Maybe make I should. sure that your seatbelt is fastened low and tight across your lap. To fasten, insert the metal fittings into one another. Tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. In the event Fuel the might be a good idea if we on, want to uh, get this airplane flying somewhere. Please take a few moments to now locate one of the several emergency exits on this aircraft. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. In case of an emergency and we need to evacuate the aircraft, there is lighting on the floor that will guide you towards the exit. In the event that the cabin loses pressure, an oxygen mask will drop right in front of you. Start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth and secure the elastic band behind your head. Tighten the straps if necessary and breathe normally. Although Bail. the bag does not right. oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask first turn on and then one. others. Keep your mask on until a member of the crew advises you it's safe to remove it. In the event that the pilot decides to take us for a swim, a fashionable life vest is located in a pouch under your seat <laughs> or between the arms. I love that, uh, but when let me just... to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Flip it over your head. Wrap the straps around your waist and buckle up the front. Pull the strap to tighten. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord only when exiting the aircraft. If your life vest does not inflate automatically, blow into the mouthpieces for manual inflation. Each vest is equipped with a whistle and light. If necessary, your seat cushion can be used as a secondary flotation device. Once again, all devices must be in airplane mode and your larger devices must be turned off and stowed at this time. Please securely stow your personal items. Make sure your seat belts are fastened in seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lavatories is prohibited by law. All of this information and more can be found on the safety card located in the seat back in front of you. We suggest reading this and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for flying with us and we hope you enjoy your flight. There we go. Be ready for him to ask us to set our parking brake. And yes, if you noticed, it is my voice. I have put my own voice into the uh, better pushback. If you want the data files, I mean the sound files, then I will happily share them with you. It's just that for some reason, uh, the people that made this mod thought that, or made the audio, thought that uh, Danish and Swedish and Norwegian sound almost the same when we talk English. And... Uh, I respect respectively have to disagree with that so uh, and even furthermore I think it sounds almost like British or Scottish or something like that so not Swedish at all let's do that I have some disconnecting to stand by I can find there is somewhere performance data oh, I'm just going to leave that where it is I think it's to give us some uh, gravity center or something line so disconnected and bypass pin has been removed hand signals on the left have a safe journey bye bye we can't get to see the secondary page the secondary init page i can't see the center of gravity but let's see not sure where it was not direct progress definitely not there in pre-flight right now let me see are there any more pages no. No, 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 no. Uh, fuel predictions, probably not as well. Oh, yeah, that is 29.1. Oh, I would say. The cabin is ready. Something like that. 
All right, so let's uh, get our taxi clearance. Let me get the map up. See where we are. No, we are not at. We're not there yet. <laughs> let's get the airport. No, we are. We're here. All right, so uh, we're probably going to go for Bravo. All the way to Bravo. Let's see. Castro ground, ready to taxi to runway zero four right. Aircraft calling ground, say again with your call sign. Castro ground, Scandinavian 771, ready to taxi to runway zero four left. Scandinavian 771, taxi to runway zero four left. Taxi to runway 04 left, Scandinavian 771. Castro ground, Scandinavian 771, ready to taxi. Scandinavian 771, taxi to runway 04 left. Yeah, I know that, but. Taxi to runway 04 left, Scandinavian 771. Scandinavian 771, taxi to 04 left. Let me just see if there's something that's gone wrong with the. Uh, the usual taxiways. No, it does have all the taxiways. Let me try f see if I can import them. There we go. See? Let's see if that helped. And let me see if I can get the request taxi. To try to make him say that. Scandinavian 771, request taxi to runway 04 left. Scandinavian 771, taxi to runway 04 left via taxiways Romeo, Victor, Yankee, Delta, Alpha, Alpha 10, hold short runway 12, and runway 04 left. Taxi to runway 04 left via Romeo, Victor, Yankee, Delta, Alpha, Alpha 10, hold short runway 10 and runs runway 04 left, Scandinavian 771. <laughs> Sometimes it really doesn't get what I'm saying, but uh, alright, so Romeo there. That must be Yankee, that one here. This is Yankee. And then... Alpha. Alright. It's a little weird in my opinion, but... Fair enough. Put that down here. Alright. Ready to taxi, and we have seat belts on. Let's get some lights going. Let's see, uh, nav lights is on, strobe is on, with the runway turning, and set this to taxi. Don't think we need anything else. All right, release parking brake, and uh. Let's get going. Yankee, going to Bravo 
contact to the free one center via Yankee. Did I turn off the uh, APU? No, I didn't. Turn that off. It really does give it a little bit more atmosphere that we have this chatter in the background. Just reset my view. Pretty sure I need to get this on a button on my on my joystick. Just going to close the door. You can hear my son. Would almost call it yelling in the background. So Yankee is to Victor Yankee. I have absolutely no idea why he wants us to go to that. Let me just check it once again. Romeo. Victor. <laughs> what, the, what the heck is going on here? R Romeo, I get. Let me see again what he said. Taxiway is Romeo. Victor. Yankee. Delta. This Delta. Oh, so you want me to... But he didn't say Sulu anywhere. That's because this little street here must be... I think we need to go down here and then this way here. Yeah, let's do that because I don't want to turn the other way here. That would seem weird. That down. No Sulu, so we're going to turn here. And then this should be <coughs> Delta. Oh. Scandinavian seven seven one clear to cross runway one two. Clear to cross runway one two. Scandinavian seven seven one.
turn on this rope. No, not beacon. Oh, there we go. So while we take that long straight down to runway uh, to holding point Alpha 10, we're going to uh, going to test our flight systems. We're going to go down on Delta here and then turn over Alpha. Let's uh, find that flight control page. Can remove that now. Just had to make. <laughs> just had to be sure that I was still following the the right. Uh, get that up. Put it down here. Go back here. Line it up a little bit. Then press the tiller button. That should be it. So let's try the flight controls. Rudder. It's so cool that you can push this tiller button. Yes. Elevation, ailerons and speed brakes and all that. Seems to be working just fine. Let me see if I can get that frequency for the tower. Say frequency for tower. Scandinavian 771. Nope. He really doesn't want to tell me what the frequency for tower is yet. I don't hope. Oh, I don't hope. I have to guess what the frequency for the tower is. That would that would not be nice. <laughs> Let me set the uh, break now for rejected takeoff. We can move that out of the way now. there. Alpha 7. I don't need the rudder right now, so I'm going to remove my feet from it. Getting a little bit better seating. Now we can increase the speed a little bit. Just a tad. Alpha 7. 
Weather Pass Lima Mike, Grand Tendo, Grand Tendo, Grand Tendo, Grand Tendo, Grand Tendo, Grand but obviously I do need the brakes, that's, um, that's, hopefully. Self explained, sorry. It's going to be a relatively short flight, so we are almost reaching uh, <laughs> cruising altitude and then have to go back down to descent phase, so... Uh, it's going to be interesting, especially because you couldn't calculate the top of descent. So if the ATC doesn't help me, I'm just going to follow the flight plan myself. Take a look outside. Here we have it. The Airbus. Beautiful plane. At least the, the way I see it. Be nine. Yeah. So the final one is ten. Let's see if he uh, hands me over to tower to request takeoff. I have to figure that out for myself. We can reduce. Speed ever so slightly. Scandinavian 771 contact tower on 118 decimal 1. Have a good flight. Ground southwest, a 141, we're at Bravo 10, right to push with Quebec. At 141, Romeo is now current, new departure frequency 133.5. Uh, Tower on 118 decimal 1, Scandinavian 771, good evening. Well, let's do that right now. Go for Tower. 118 decimal 1, almost correct. Why the heck did I go that way? <laughs> let's see, 118 decimal 1. Scan. Yeah, I know. Scan any even tower contact tower on blah 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 blah. All right, let's check it out. Let's see. Um, all is set. We have uh, the auto throttle. We have that set. I think we are, we're pretty much set. Let's uh, just ding the. Let's test it. Perfect. We're ready for takeoff. Then. Alright. Feed in my pedals, or whatever you want to call it. Copenhagen Tower, Scandinavian 771, ready for takeoff. Scandinavian 771, winds are light and variable cleared for takeoff. Runway 04 left. Cleared for takeoff, runway 00 left. Cleared for takeoff, runway 04 left, Scandinavian 771. Good evening. Do you like that? Alright. Oh, let's just set the. Uh, Lights now that we're here. Uh, we'll take off and let's go to the co pilot seat and go down and change this to 
what it should be. There we go. Now we're ready. Let's line up and take the procedure. A little too fast. All right, we are lined up. Let's see, contact ATC, strobe light is strobe. We already had that. Left and right landing lights on, no slides on, transponder TCAS, TIA is, seat belts have off, then auto, why? No. <laughs> uh, packs one and two. Start the chronometer. All of that is set. Yeah, and why the heck does it want me to set the seatbelt signs off? Then auto. There's no auto on the seatbelts. Sorry, but that's the way it is. All right, we're ready. Feet break down. Toe break down. Uh, let me move that out of the way. Start the chronometer. Did that. Trust. Alright. And let's go to flex. Eighty knots. B one rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Follow the uh, flight director, go to climb trust. Landing gear, autopilot, did that. Thrust to climb. Scandinavian 771 climb and maintain flight level 130 contact castrup departure on 124.907. Enjoy your afternoon.
climb and maintain flight level 130, departure on 124, decimal 907, Scandinavian 771. Good evening. 124, decimal 907. Once we zero, well. Scandinavian seven seven one contact departure on one two four decimal nine seven. Yes, yes, yes. Copenhagen departure, Scandinavian 771 at flight level 4040, climbing one flight level 130. Scandinavian 771, good afternoon. Radar contact. Climb and maintain flight level 130. Scandinavian 771, you have traffic at 11 o'clock, 10 miles at 1,000 feet. Climb and maintain flight level 130, Scandinavian 771. Let's see, yeah, we can move the slabs as well. Traffic not in sight, Scandinavian 771. Well, right, let's see, we have the flaps retracted, speed brakes, let's disarm those. There we go. Packs should be on already. Runway turn off, no slide. There we go. And we have already done that. Have we passed transition altitude? Yes, we have. So we're going to go to standard. There we go. That's it. Now we're just waiting to pass 10,000 feet, and then I'm going to turn off the the other lights. The not the, all the other lights, but some of the other lights. Right, let's try there is some kind of cruise page or anything like that down here it is normal cruise engine we are now passing through 10,000 feet so now turn on your larger portable electronic devices as a reminder please keep your seatbelt fastened while you are seated and do not congregate in the galley or near the laboratory this aircraft is equipped with onboard wi-fi if you wish to connect to the Wi-Fi, you'll be directed to a page to create a small fee for internet access. We do offer complimentary in-flight TV things to our partners. Connect to the Wi-Fi and you'll be able to access our wide range of free live TV and safe movie drivers. Alright, let's, uh, it says we're going to turn the seatbelt sign off, so we're going to do that. We never had that, alright. Off the fastened seatbelt sign. You can now get up and move about the cabin. However, we ask that you keep your seatbelt fastened when you see the use of unexpected turbulence. Alright, cubby active. Whoa. Let's see, secondary flight plan. Cubby active. And we already done that. Scandinavian 771, you are off course. Turn left heading 141 to return to course. Heading 141, Scandinavian 771. And I'm not off course, but that's because uh, um, sometimes uh, pilot chases, he has a little bit, little, some problems. Um, yeah, we already done that. 
Scandinavian 771 climb and maintain flight level 210. Scandinavian 771 resume navigation. Climb and maintain flight level 210, Scandinavian 771. And I'm already on my navigation, so... Why the, is there a discontinued... I don't have any... Any idea... Why it has used the Simi-1 Denik transition when we are <laughs> exiting on Balog. <laughs> That's really, really weird. I don't know if I can request a direct. Cast a departure, Scandinavian 771. Request direct to Balox. Contact Malmo Control on 118.0. Enjoy your afternoon. Center on 118.0, Scandinavian 771. Alright, let's do that. Malmo Center, Scandinavian 771, at flight level 165, climbing flight level to 10. Scandinavian 771, good afternoon. Radar contact. Now let me see if I can request. Yeah, I can request a direct to. Malmo Center, Scandinavian 771, request clearance direct to Balox. What is it called? Balox? Let me just see. Bravo, Alpha, Limo, Oscar. What the heck is X? Well, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to do it. It is Bellocks, right? Yeah. Uh, Scandinavian 771 climb and maintain flight level 290. 290. Climb and maintain flight level 290. Scandinavian 771. Let's see if I can find. Let's see, um, let's see. And now it's telling me that it can't. X-ray, all right. Malmo Center, Scandinavian 771, request clearance direct to Bravo, Alpha, Lima, Oscar, X-Ray. Let me just do it. Direct to... Yes. Apparently, for some reason, it doesn't 
register I'm saying anything. Scandinavian 771 request clearance direct to Bravo Alpha Lima Oscar X-ray. Scandinavian 771 climb and maintain flight level 600. Scandinavian 771 request clearance direct to Bravo Alpha Lima Oscar X-ray. I had to try that because for some reason it. Scandinavian 771 clear direct to Bravo Alpha Lima Oscar X ray then is filed. Clear direct to Bravo Alpha Lima Oscar X ray then is filed. Scandinavian 771. There we go. Perfect. Scandinavian 771 descent and maintain flight level 230. Descent and maintain flight level 230. Aircraft calling center, say again with your call sign. Why the heck does it want me to do that? Alright. Descend and maintain flight level 230, Skinny Navian 771. Why on earth does it want me to do that? Am I uh, already at my... Are we already here? <laughs> No, there is a while yet before we get there. We do even need to get to the top of our descent. Interesting. Scandinavian 771 contact Berlin Center on 125.8. Have a nice day. Berlin Center on 125.8. Scandinavian 771. Scandinavian 771, this is Malmo Control on 118.0. Please repeat your request. Center on 125.8, Scandinavian 7.7.1. It's not perfect. 125.8. Scandinavian 7.7.1, contact center on 125.8. 125 125.8 for Scandinavian 7.7.1. Scandinavian 771, you were garbled. Please say again. 125.8 for Scandinavian 771. Scandinavian 771, you were garbled. Please say again. Contact center on 125.8 Scandinavian 771. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's see. Are we descending now or just maintaining altitude? I'm just going to follow my flight plan instead of having that. Because we're almost, you can see here, that is our descent area, so... 
And we're going to go for 2300. Uh, did I change? 1 to 5 doesn't matter. Yeah, I did. Good afternoon, Berlin Center, Scandinavian 771 at flight level 290. Scandinavian 771, good afternoon. Radar contact. Thank you. So we should begin to descend right away. Let me get that up. Romeo, Oscar, Delta, Echo, Papa. Uniform, of course. <laughs> and then uniform... Uniform Bravo Alpha X-Ray India. I need to learn these uh, acronyms, uh, these, uh, this phonetic alphabet a little bit better. Alright, so today I think we're going to perform a fully automated landing. The last couple of times I've tried this, I have had a lot of problems entering the uh, the uh, the uh, standard, I mean, the, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the, the getting getting did to work. Let's uh, see if we can hear the ATIS. No, not yet. Still too far away. But let me see what it is it's expecting me to do. Runway 25 left. Should be the right one. According to the plan that the uh, pilot JDC has given me. Let's find the charts for that. Arrival? No. It's really. Approach. Cat two three two five left. Get my plan and see where we're coming from. Let's see two five left. And, uh... Must be Kita. If I left via Kita, yes. No transition. Enter. Then let's get that on our chart as well. Now we know it. Pacha. Arrival. Kids up for 25 left. We're going to come in here. Then go this way around. And then start the final approach. All right.
we should go in here. There's a holding pattern here if we need it, but I hope we don't. It's good. It, the plant says flight level 140, so I'm going to do that. Berlin Center, Scandinavian 771, request flight level 140. Scandinavian 771, descend and maintain flight level 150. Okay, 150. Scandinavian 771, descend and maintain flight level 090. Descend and maintain flight level 090, Scandinavian 771. So when this uh, talk thing works like it should, really should, then this is uh, an excellent program to use. But, <laughs> but as you can imagine, when it doesn't, it's a uh, proverbial pain in the butt to say it at least. So let's uh, turn on the seatbelt sign now. I'm a little bit cautious with that. Need to see something. Yeah, we did close the door. Let me show you something. Doesn't that look cool? Let's remove this. And here again. Nice, huh? <laughs> I love this. Let's get a flyby view. As we approach Berlin, let me just see how we're going with respect to plan for flight. 14 minutes. Not sure we're going to make that. They are satisfied, 76%. That's not good. I'm not sure why they're not satisfied. Well, I guess I'm going to see when we land this bird. Scandinavian 771 QNH is 1014 at Berlin Brandenburg clear for the ILS approach to runway 25 left at Berlin Brandenburg with the Qatar Transit and contact approach on 134.42. 1014. Cleared for ILS. Why? Runway two four left. Two five left. No two four left. Two four left. 
All right. Scandinavian 771 contact approach on 134.42. Cleared for ILS approach to runway 25 left with the KeyTap transition. Approach on 134.42, Scandinavian 771. One two four decimal four two. All right, let's do that. Scandinavian 771 contact approach on 134.42. 134. Contact approach on 134.42. Scandinavian 771. Berlin approach, Scandinavian 771, inbound for ILS. Scandinavian 771, good afternoon. Radar contact. All right, let's... Scandinavian 771, descend via the gate of transition to 3000 feet. Descend via gate of transition to 3000 feet, Scandinavian 771. Descent to 3,000 feet via the KTAP transition, Scandinavian 771. Yeah, 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 whatever. Auto brakes, let's put that as low. Scandinavian 771 slow to 250 knots or less. Let's do that. Help it by doing some. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I forgot to turn off ignition. Let's just turn this on, even though we don't have our landing gear down yet. Let's see if I can... Scandinavian 771, you have traffic at 12 o'clock, 6 miles at 2,400 feet. Traffic inside Scandinavian 771. Alright, let's turn this on. So that we are ready to capture the glide slope when we get there. We can. What was it? Uh, 1014?
a little low on fuel, but I think we're going to manage. Get a visual of that. The nice weather for flying. And it should actually be real weather. I'm not sure how real it is, but that's supposed to be. Let's take a look outside. So cool. <laughs> Now we are already almost at the glide slope, so I'm going to be ready to turn off the localizer. Turn on the localizer. Let me uh, reduce the range on that. Here we are at 250. I would like to turn down the speed to 200. And then drop on flaps. I yeah, know we are over speeding, but I want to be prepared as <laughs> much as I can. Let's set it to. Uh, 180. 190. Yep. So we are in a critical phase, so I'm going to turn it to ignition, even though I just turned it off. Now I'm trying to be very ready to capture the glide slope. Scandinavian 771 QNH is 1014 at Berlin Brandenburg contact tower on 118.8. Enjoy your afternoon. Tower on 118.8, Scandinavian 771. Let's go for approach right now and managed. All right, so let's uh, there go and one one eight decimal eight. It's gonna be even seven seven one ready for eyeless approach. Scandinavian 771 inbound for ILS. Copenhagen Tower, Scandinavian 771 inbound for ILS. Scandinavian 771, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue ILS to runway 25 left, call when established on final. We'll call when established on final, Scandinavian 771. Scandinavian 771, this is Berlin Tower on 118.8, please repeat your request. Cleared for ILS on Two runway 25 left, Scandinavian 771. Yeah, he liked that. So we have uh, all the autopilot stuff on, let's go for the landing gear down. Turn off the runway. Scandinavian 771, you have traffic at 2 o'clock, 10 miles at 1,400 feet. 2 o'clock, so that's about here. It's 
Falcon and Avian 771, traffic in sight. All right, let's see if he can land this airplane nice and quiet. Let's get the final flaps out. That's what we want. We are ready. Let's uh, ding the cabin. And uh, arm the spoilers. And we're ready for takeoff. Sorry. <laughs> we're ready for landing. It's overshooting a little bit. But how we can make it. I will obviously let me just remove the microphone a little bit so I'm sitting a little bit better. I will obviously also make uh no I'm not going to disengage autopilot because I'm going to go for an orbit. Scandinavian seven seven one winds are one two two at one one knots cleared to land runway two five left. Clear to land runway two five left, Scandinavian seven seven one. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell him that I was captured on ILS. Let's see how, see how good he does it. We are full flaps. Flaring. Scandinavian seven seven one exit runway when able. Not sure what it was. Uh, That was a pretty nice to landing. Berlin. The local time is 3.45 p.m. and it's currently about 12 degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bins as items may have shifted during the flight. If this is your final destination, we thank you for flying with us and we hope to see you again soon. 
law and fully ready for the search. Global 5337, good afternoon. By intersection, kilo line up from the event, three left, clear for takeoff, wind 100 degrees. Clear of active, Scandinavian 771. Scandinavian 771, contact ground on 121.7. Enjoy your afternoon. Contact ground on 121.7, Scandinavian 771. And thank you. All right, so uh, let's turn off some lights here. If I can. We are definitely not going to take off, so uh, we can turn off uh, these as well and go to taxi. That should be it. Let's get the... Uh, APU running. We don't lose power when we turn off the engines. And uh, let's go for ground. That was uh, one to one decimal seven. All right, let's uh, get a chart up. Let's remove that. A V tap. The uphold. See what we have to deal with. We are here. Good evening. Berlin Ground, Scandinavian 771. Request taxi to gate. I'm going to try to just say it then. Request. Taxi. To the gate. Scandinavian 771 request taxi to the gate. Scandinavian 771 taxi to gate 30. Okay. Scandinavian 771, request taxi to the gate. Scandinavian 771, taxi to gate 30 via taxiways My 3, Alpha, Romeo, Revo, Victor 1, Victor Charlie, Victor 2, Charlie, Lima 5, Delta, Lima 6, Kilo 3, Kilo, Kilo, Hotel. Let me try to get that written down in a little bit of form here. Scandinavian 771 taxi to gate 30 via Mike 3, Alpha, Romeo, Bravo, Victor 1, Victor Charlie, Victor 2, Charlie, Lima 5, Delta, Lima 6, Kilo 3, Kilo, Kilo Hotel, Scandinavian 771. Scandinavian 771 taxi to gate 30. Yes, 30, yes. All right, so let's see, where is gate 30? We need to get, uh, let's remove all of this from Copenhagen that we don't need. As well. Alright, let's see. Taxi ways. Parking stands. Must be this. Let's see. It was gate 30. So that is. It's here. Gate 30. And he wanted us to take Mike 3. Where are we? We are here. My three. Alpha. This one. My three. Alpha. Romeo. Alright. 
We're going for what apron what? Apron 2A. Be up here somewhere. Right, let me check the building. No, it's up here. All right, so it's in Kilo 3. But he didn't say anything about crossing a runway, so how the heck do I do that? Alpha. Victor 2, where's that? You have 3 and 4 here. Kilo 3, that's... That would be... Lima 5, that's the one here. I suppose I have to go up here, this way, all the way down here. I'm not sure where Romeo is. Alpha. That's Alpha here. That's Papa. Papa 1 and 2. No Romeo. I'm not sure where the heck Romeo is. Oh, it's there. Romeo. Then Bravo. And Victor 1 there, yes. And then all the way would be Victor Charlie. That's probably all the way up here. Victor 2, I'm not sure where Victor 2 is. This must be Victor 2, didn't Charlie? Charlie, Victor 2 is probably this way. Then Lima 5, yes, Lima 5. I should cross the runway here. And then... Alright. <laughs> some... some drive through all right let's do this let's check that we have all the lights and all that on let's uh, turn ignition off on the engines whoops And let's, uh, did I disarm this? No. Disarm, let's retract flaps. And I don't think there's any more else other than drive there. Cabin status, can take it easy. We did, let's strobe light, strobe. Yeah, it is on strip. Left and right landing light. Oh, all right, let's do that. But that's before takeoff. No, I'm definitely not going to go. Takeoff procedure. to Romeo. Don't need to have my foots on the pedals right now, I don't think, at least. Then we come to Tango here. And then Romeo is the next one. I'm pretty sure we are way behind schedule on our passengers. Maybe I should have offered them a little bit more. Time.
All right, so there should be Romeo coming up. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, it's set there. And then follow Bravo. Then up Victor one. Bruce sixty ninety three right at turn alpha hold short tangle. Turn alpha hold short tangle to sixty. Push at twenty five twelve right turn on delta. Just forgot something. Right delta across uh maybe two left at twenty five twelve. Two. Here we are. Oh, a little hard on the brakes. A lot of Bravo stands here. Hello, France and Tipperick, stand 101 via Oscar November Lima. Oscar November Lima, posting 101 in Let's move the map a little bit. Oh, I chose the wrong one, but nevertheless. We are on Victor 2 right now. And then Charlie. Foxtrot. And here should be Charlie. Yeah, I don't want to hit them all. 
And then we're going to go all the way up to Lima 5. I'm pretty sure that's the crossing we can see up there. So, uh, how it wants me to cross... I wonder why he doesn't want me to go for Lima 6. I'm going to be completely out of... Oh, it was Lima 6. Lima 5, Lima 6. Yeah, yeah, alright. Fair enough, I didn't... yeah. <laughs> But he didn't say anything about crossing runway Kilo 3, yeah Let's see if he recognizes that I'm getting close to this runway. Didn't. But I think I'm going to try to ask him to... If I can... Cross it anyway. Yeah, alright, let's try that. That's uh, 2 5 right. Berlin ground, Scandinavian 771, holding short to cross runway 2 5 right. Scandinavian 771, clear to cross runway 2 5 right. Perfect. Clear to cross runway 2 5 right, Scandinavian 771. All right, now we are nearing Kappa. Let's uh, the destroy for auto now. Let's see, we weren't supposed to follow golf right now. Bravo 
Let's open this one so we can see. Going down here. Guess we need to go for hotel. Kilo three. Kilo and Kilo Hotel. So, uh, 3 zero should be just around the corner. Three zero. Bruce sixteen ninety three right is turn alpha hold your tangle. Turn alpha hold your tangle receive. Bruce twenty five twelve oh. right turn on delta cross from my That was not a good one. Alright, contact ATC, that's before take off. We're not going to take off, we're going to stop. Alright, let's turn off some of the lights. Yep. No, turn that off, that off, that off, that is off, uh, turn that off. Turn on APU bleed. Turn off engine one. Turn off engine two. Let's go to engine. Beacon off. Let's open the door and let our. <laughs> Passengers jump out, literally. And there we go. Now our passengers are allowed to jump out of the plane. <laughs> Definitely not a perfect parking, but not bad either. Let's see if I can get some ground service here. Service trucks coming. Let's see what it can give us. Service truck. some of the doors I just want to make a disclaimer that you probably already know but I'm going to say it nonetheless I am by no means a real world pilot Everything I know about real-world procedures, about flying, about landing, about just about anything related to something like this. 
is something I got from the internet, from YouTube, from friends that I know that are pilots and all that. I cannot be trusted, and you could see that by my landing, I mean seriously, and my taxiway I had to look at the chart for several minutes in order to figure out where to go. But I find this to be interesting, I like the technical aspects of it. I like the fact that you can fly an airplane like this that for what is, I mean, as much as it's worth, should um, behave roughly like the real deal. Somewhat like the real deal. At least. So, yeah, let's just see. We have now completed this flight. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I will record some a little bit of extra material of the landing and and takeoff and all that, and then we can. Uh, then I hope you'll I hope you'll come back and join me once again when we take perhaps a flight that is a little bit longer. Let me just see what we got from uh, passenger crew experience. Unexpected departure delay. Well, that's okay. Hard landing? Well, that's all right. That's all. Unexpected departure delay and hard landing. I'm totally telling my friends about this airline. I'll definitely be recommending you at work. That was a quick flight. <laughs> I like that we have someone say unexpected departure delay and hard landing and all else is just good. Good stuff. See you next time. Bye-bye.